Today's video is sponsored by Harry's. Do you find it frustrating when you're lining up to buy overpriced blades or even poor quality blades? I mean, every man deserves a quality craftsmanship, simple design, modern convenience, and a great shave. Harry's is a personal care brand reinventing the way you shave. Harry's founders, Jeff and Andy, were tired of paying for overpriced blades and found out they weren't alone. So what was their answer? To start Harry's, raise a bunch of money, and open up their own razor factory in Germany. Nowadays, they help millions of men and women shave in a premium, hassle-free way. One of the great things I absolutely love about using Harry's is their razor quality is insanely good, not to mention their refills start at $2. With Harry's, they guaranteed a close, comfortable shave or 100% of your money back. Refills are delivered straight to your door, which means there is no more waiting in those drugstore lines. And not to mention, Harry's supports great causes such as giving 1% of their sales to mental health organizations. Harry started me off with their starter pack, which is going to include their texturized rubber grip razor and of course their refills. Harry's own shave gel, which smells amazing by the way and their little nice razor traveling cover Honestly, the deal Harry's currently has on their trial set is absolutely amazing. You'll get everything you need for that close, comfortable shave for only $3 by going to harrys.com slash Derek Baron Productions. And not only are you going to be satisfied, but you're going to be helping out the channel as well. Again, guys, that's harrys.com slash Derek Baron Productions. You can find the link in the description. Make sure to join fast and join the 10 million who have tried Harry's as well. I just want to go ahead and thank Harry so much for sponsoring today's video, and let's get with it. Let's see... Ooh, how are we looking? Oh man, that's crispy. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you guys another video and I want to welcome you guys back to the channel. Sorry, I switched it up on you guys two different times again. I know this video you're watching right now was posted at 8 p.m. and that's the typical time I used to upload and then I threw you guys for a loop. I was posting at 1 o'clock for a week and then a couple days at 3 p.m the last two days at 5 p.m. and guys I'm gonna be real with you I was just trying to find a way to see if my videos could grow through the algorithm by posting early and it just seems like it hurt me more than anything and it's kind of bumming me out but you know I've been through this before just gotta keep grinding keep making content I don't know I might end up staying with 8 o'clock because it seemed like at 8 p.m. a lot of you guys were ready for it alright I'm gonna stop discussing loop number one but let's discuss loop number two if you watched the previous videos you guys know I bought another Canon G7X it's the camera I started off with I started filming with it a couple days and I hated it guys I did not like it so I actually took it back yesterday and I bought a brand new Sony um, I still have my old one it's this is like the upgraded version it has the whole flip up screen and stuff and it's the a6400 it's mint I'm like looking at myself right now vlogging for the first time with a Sony Wow anyway guys let's get on with today's video as you guys are seeing from the title and thumbnail of this video we recently just got a brand new partner with the channel Derek Brand Productions and I just gotta go give UPR a huge shout out. We're gonna go more into that company in just a moment, but as you guys can see, we do have Blue chilling back here, still on jack stands, unfortunately. I just haven't had time to really dive into this, but as you can see, we got a bunch of goodies here. And this is Blue's brand new drag suspension and there's a lot of stuff here, UPR absolutely just hooked it up they just asked me pretty much what i was going for and shipped me all these boxes minus that one as you can see sve lmr but yeah guys we have about 25 to three thousand dollars worth of upr suspension here and i haven't opened a single thing besides the sve coilovers that i may have mentioned in another video i don't know i'm gonna mention it again here this video is gonna be more on the chill side i just want to show you guys what's coming all i ask is just to hang with me we're gonna unbox all this for the first time kind of see what we got going on and yeah i'm excited but without further ado let's start just opening boxes i'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod all right well i guess we could start with this big old box here and again guys i know like some of the parts that they sent me i don't know too much about them though if that makes sense like i'm not gonna sit here and say that i'm some car fanatic and i know exactly what this part is gonna help me with and how it's gonna help me, how much it weighs, things like that. No, it's it's the complete opposite actually. This is a whole learning experience for me. When it, Why am I waving a knife around? When it comes to all this stuff, this is honestly like a brand new learning experience for myself. I've never really done much research on drag racing. I never, never really watch it. Of course, you, you know, you'll go with family and stuff to the drag strips and I've been with some friends here and there, but I don't know much about it. Again, this is just a huge learning experience for myself and I'm very excited though because this little car behind me with all this, with a brand new intercooler set up, a fresh tune, pushing about 4, 415 wheel with drag suspension. Also have a drag pack I just bought for it. So I think this is going to be the perfect learning platform and I'm just so excited to dive into this world. Let's open up this first box. I have no idea, again, what's in this, but we're going to find out. 
together. I am gonna try to keep all this packaging neat. So if there's like boxes within box, like there is here, there's boxes within boxes, God damn it. The first box right here says we have a 79 through 04 Mustang Pro Street double adjustable upper. Um, is this gonna be like a control arm? Show you, give you guys an idea. But got some nice, nice material there. I'll open it for you guys anyway. So we have some adjustable control arms. And again, I am not 1000% sure exactly how this helps drag racers. Um, I get the idea about it, but you know, compared to stock, obviously it's gonna be much better. So but that's pretty cool. Box number one, adjustable control arms. Set that aside. And, oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. I didn't realize it was this much. So it looks like this stuff is just gonna be hardware. Um, yeah, some hardware, probably bushings and things like that. I'm not gonna open that, that's just gonna be a mess. It looks like we might have two of the same boxes. Some more hardware and bushings. This is pretty cool though. Team, Team UPR, I'm not gonna un unroll this whole thing because it's pretty big, but I love stuff like this. Hang this in the garage once we get moved in within the next couple months. What we have here. So we have some 94 through 04 caster camber plates. These are going to be for the coilovers that I actually have. I'm going to show you guys those next. Caster camber plates, I could probably keep these out. I know that kit came with them, but I'm sure these ones are a bit better. And inside the last box we have, and I think we have some lower control arms in this box as well. That's already a hefty chunk of some really important suspension upgrades. I'm gonna get this box packed back up and then we'll move on to the next one. As I mentioned, the next one I wanna show you guys, just the coilovers I got from SVE. Again, not a super, super, super high brand coilover whatsoever. I'm actually more on the affordable side for those of you that are just looking to get coilovers on a Mustang. I am getting into the drag racing scene with this car, as I mentioned, so I I know there's a lot of crazy, well not necessarily crazy, but I know there's a lot of setups out there and I'm obviously really veering towards biking and I'm not gonna run a coilover in the rear. I'm probably gonna run a Viking double adjustable shock with a spring at some point. So like I said, I just had to get these so I could take the bags off and have a suspension ready to rock, which these should be on the car already, but they're not. <laughs> Got a lot going on, but just some SVE coilovers that are gonna go on the car temporarily until we start dialing things in and actually, you know, pushing for those 60 foot times and things like that. Next up, we have this big old box, long box, I should say. And if I were to guess, these are gonna be the subframe connectors. I wanna say subframe connectors are obviously put on the car to give it more of a solid feel, no flexing or anything like that. I think, I mean, at least from the knowledge I know, I believe that's what they would be used for. Put these on the car and like when you launch your car and stuff, I, I wanna say it like helps transfer the weight and you know, throughout the whole entire body of the car, which I could be completely wrong. So we got this big Bertha box right here and this is probably the most exciting modification they sent me or one of them. I did not know I was getting this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro, we got some Vikings, what? I had no idea they sent me Viking anything. Bro, they're the springs. No shit. I had no idea they were sending me these. Now I have to ask, cause I'm not gonna know, but would these be able to go on the coilovers I currently have? You know, like in the rear. And... No. I'm wrong, that can't be right. I don't know, dude, I, I wish I knew what the hell I was talking about. Anyway, we got some Viking performance spring of some sort. <laughs> I'll figure it all out. All this static shit is new to me. You know me, I always ran bags. I'm pretty stoked on that. That's not my favorite part about this box. I'm gonna have to pick the camera up for this one. So my favorite part is this thing right here. And that is UPR's K member. You know, you obviously shed weight and stuff with those things. And it's just gonna be, I'm telling you, this thing is gonna be ready, man. It's awfully funny to me because when I first got Blucifer, I was beyond excited to be like in the 5.0 world. But now that I bought this back and still have Blucifer, and that's at 700 horsepower, I'm so excited for this build. Just because I have so much learning to do on it. It was a hot boy build at one point with the airlift, with the wheels and tire setup. Had the Vortec on it, obviously, but it wasn't intercooled. This one is intercooled. Gotta do some minor changes, but we're gonna go into that in another video. Just so excited to get all this brand new stuff on. I don't know what's in this box. 
And it's heavy though. Oh wait, there's a tag right there. It says, oh okay, these are the A-arms. We do have one more box we're gonna open real quick. All right, and the last box we have here, Pro Street Anti-Roll Bar Kit. I don't wanna pull all this out. Let me see if I can get you guys a better angle. Look at the bar back here. Very nice like aluminum. Very lightweight, all this stuff. Boy, it looks like we got our work cut out for us, boys. I'm not complaining, though. I'm so excited. Well, Blue, that's a hell of a start if you ask me. Come this way, come this way. I'll give you guys just a little sneak peek. Yo, that's gonna be sick. Got something else to show you. Check it out. It's got some meat too. That is gonna look so good. Well, there you have it guys You just got first look at Lucifer's full drag suspension as of right now I'm sure there's other stuff I'm gonna end up getting but I have to go and give Sherrod over at UPR the biggest thank you and make sure you guys go check out UPR Their links gonna be in the description for all your Mustang suspension needs Tell me boy DVP sent you maybe him and I can work on a little discount code for UPR and for all you guys But I am beyond ecstatic. There's just some really really cool modifications and I'm just I can't express to you how excited this makes me to see the car back at my house a full drag suspension set up right here a drag pack back there it's just gonna be an absolute blast to drive guys I cannot wait if you guys are excited drop your boy a thumbs up on this video I truly do appreciate it today's DBP vlog shout out is actually going out to Chris make sure you guys go check him out on Instagram and I know he's coming to Virginia very soon to do a Mustang Madness with his beautiful Roush so you don't want to miss it and if any of you guys watching this video right now want a chance to win a shout out on every vlog all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at Derek Barron Productions and whenever you post a photo or anything like that you the hashtag DBP squad in all your posts every time I film a video just like this I go to that hashtag I see who used it and boom guys shout out don't forget guys let me know about those two things one the post time eight o'clock should I stick with it Monday through Friday and two how you like in the new camera setup I'm actually loving this project Fox video is now live so please just click that card right up in this corner run the numbers up for your boy with that being said guys I hope each and every one of you have a blessed day set them goals strive for them and we will see you tomorrow for another video at 8 p.m. But until next time, I'll see you later.